Assalamualaikum viewers. Uh, once again, I'm back. Uh, this is the second part of the introduction of Cisco devices. Now I'm going to start uh, uh, some switch series of the Cisco. First of all, I would like to describe that there are two main categories of Cisco switches. The first one is the Catalyst and the second one Nexus series. So Catalyst series of switch, Cisco switches use IOS and Nexus series use NXOS. So here is the uh, 2952950. This is layer 2 switch and this one is called Catalyst. These all ports we use for the connectivity of different PCs, computers, servers, etc. This uh, connector, actually this button will be used for the to, con to uh, break the password, to access the flash, for the management purpose, you can say that. And this one is the management port, console port. We use this port for the configuration of this Cisco switch. So this was the layer 2 Cisco switch, which is only we use for the layer 2. Uh, features and uh, commands. The second one, Doctor, is also belongs to 2900 series switches. Here you see 2950. But this switch is a 48 port switch. These ports we use for the connectivity with PC and servers, but these two ports we use for the connectivity with other switches or with other routers. And these two ports actually 1000 Mbps. These are called uplink ports. These are called uplink ports. We use uplink ports for the connectivity with other switches, for the connectivity with the routers. And as it is, you see on the back side of the switch, this port is console port we use for configuration purpose. Okay, these two switches actually layer two switches. This is very much important. It's really good. One of my good switch you can see all the time. That was my favorite one. Here you see mm, console port and on the other side this switch belongs to 3550 catalyst it's a layer 3 switch 3500 series switch and here you can install here you can install fiber optic module or copper module whatever you need and these ports we use for the connectivity with pieces and something and here is the button to access the flash for the iOS installation purpose. The last thing which I, I would like to describe here, if you want to connect this switch with another switch, which is not, uh, you can say, uh, in near position, it may be one kilometer distance between these two switches. For that reason, we have to use the fiber optic module here so that we connect this switch with another switch. Because twisted pair cable use, this cable offers only 100 and, sorry, 100 meters range. This is twisted pair cable. It offers only 100 meters range. So if there is a gap above 100 meter, we use fiber optic modules. So that was the basic introduction about the Cisco switches. Now I would like to show you some cables here. This one, this, this one is the first one. Here you see, there are two types of the LAN cables, cross or straight. If both sides offer the same color scheme, here you see, white, orange, orange, and white, orange, orange. This cable is the straight cable. If both sides offer different color scheme like this one, this connector starts with the white, green, green, and this connector starts with the white, orange, orange. So this cable is a cross cable. And the third one and the last one cable is very important. This is console cable. This one is the console cable. And console cable comes with two connectors. One is the TB9, which we plug 